What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog and today we're going to use a new feature on my new phone where I actually can record using an app called the DU Recorder and I'm going to put a link to that down below for anyone out there with an Android or iOS phone that wants to download this app. I've been using it to record some gameplay footage of mobile games and it records everything on my screen and it's really nice, really helpful and it's perfect to do some different kind of videos than the ones you normally see. I'm not trying to hide my face today for any reasons. I just, uh, I just want to try out this app and try out this new feature and also present to you the news as I'm looking through it. So this is really cool. I've been meaning to make this video. I made two versions of it before. One of them I made and I just scrapped it because the information was late because I made it in early January and it was only off the first two weeks of uh, Venom sales on Blu-ray and DVD in the US. But now a lot more information has came out, uh, has come out from it. So I wanted to update it and I figured, well, we'll just scrap the first video and do another one. But the day I filmed that, I was really sick and my voice was really bad and I ended up not wanting to use that video at all. So now that I'm healthier and better and sound better, we're going to do this today. So first we're going to Media Play News and I'm going to put a link to all these down below so you can check them out yourself if you would like to see this information. But we're going to go through it as detailed as we can. This is from January 17th, 2019. So this is like a week after I filmed the first version of this. And it shows that Venom is at its fourth week on top of disc sale charts. So it was number one in the U.S. for four weeks. As we know, the movie came out on December 18th on Blu-ray and DVD here in the U.S. So this is almost one month, or this is, you know, almost to the day, one month later. And in those four weeks, Venom was on the top of the sales charts for Blu-rays and DVDs for four weeks straight. So this movie is still making a ton of money, or it was at this point. I think it's starting to die down finally now. Uh, but as you can see here... It was number one. Number two was uh, Night School landed in the number two spot during this week. And uh, The Bad Times at El Royale, which I finally watched. I really liked it. Uh, that was number three. And then we go on down to like uh, Hellfest and uh, The House with the Clocks on the Walls, which I want to see big time because I think the creator of Supernatural wrote that movie. Uh, so uh, I really want to check that out. Uh, Eric Kripke, I believe his name is. Um, so yeah, so then Predator and everyone else came in 6th and 7th Incredibles. But uh, Venom stayed on top for four weeks. It says Venom is the second title released in 2018 to top the charts for four weeks in a row after Fox's Deadpool 2, which was on top for three weeks after its debut in August and returned to number one after Thanksgiving. So when it, it was number you know, one for three weeks, went away, it dropped down on the chart, and then some reason around Thanksgiving, probably because of, you know, sales on, you know, the like Amazon sales and stuff, it boosted it up to, uh, you know, back to number one for a week during Thanksgiving. So it was four for four, you know, it was number one for four weeks. Venom also has that record as well, but with Venom, it was four consecutive weeks, which is really cool. However, Venom is the first title to top the charts for four consecutive weeks since Warner Brothers in uh, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice in 2016. So yeah, this is really awesome. Uh, I'm so glad to see that it did this well on Blu-ray and DVD. And we're going to check out some of the numbers. We're going to go and look at some other ones here. Um, real quick, I'll pop over to this. This is a top 20 list, Blu-rays and DVD sellers. So this is even a month after that, week ending in uh, 2 23 19 So this was the end of February, and we see Star is Born had just come out, I think the week or the week before, and it was doing really well. Uh, so good for that movie, because I know that came out the same time in a the theater as Venom, and I never got a chance to see it in the theater, but I did finally get to watch it on digital, and I really liked it. I, I have a big crush on Lady Gaga, uh, but I really liked that movie. I thought it was really good. And Bohemian Rhapsody, I finally saw, and I liked it too. I haven't seen Robin Hood or some of these other ones yet. Uh, Overlord I saw in the theater. That's a fantastic movie. Um, Creed 2 I haven't seen yet either, but... Um, oh, that's Creed 1. Oh, interesting. 2015 it says... Um, so then we go down here to Venom, and Venom is number 11, but it was 7 the week before. So it it's, was in the top 10 for, you know, its first two months out on, you know, Blu-ray and DVD in sales um, in the U.S. So it was number seven on its eighth week. And this is the ninth week that it was out on Blu-ray and DVD, or maybe tenth week, and it dropped to number 11, which is my lucky number. Um, but uh, that's pretty cool that it lasted that long. And so what's the kind of the outcome of that? Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go here to this uh, website here, which is like, uh, I finally found, uh, which was, I don't know, I, I googled like, you know, Venom, you know, you know, Blu-ray DVD sales, and on the search engine on my old phone, I think it was Bing or something, like very, very few things came up, and it wasn't very helpful, but now that I have like Google and all this stuff on my, on my new phone, it's kind of nice to, uh, to actually get this information and these websites show up without having to dig too, too much for them. Um, so 
Here you can actually see in numbers, um, domestic box office, Venom made 213.5 million, 213 million in the box office. But internationally, it made another 640 million uh, in the box office, bringing its total to 853.6 million dollars, uh, which is amazing. Then underneath it, you'll see domestic DVD sales and uh, domestic Blu-ray sales. So this is just the United States. Uh, it made another $48 million in its first, I think, month and a half on DVD and Blu-ray sales. I think that's when this was updated. Uh, so, uh, you know, made, let's say all the way up to February. And I'm sure the sales on it have died down since. I know it was really high on the rental ones too, so it did really well in rentals as well. So this movie has made a ton. But just with that extra 48 from the United States DVD and Blu-ray sales, that puts this movie over $900, $900 million. And obviously, they don't get to keep all $900 million. They got to split up, you know, through various, you know, things, ticket sales and stuff like that for the box office. But still, to see that with the Blu-ray and DVD sales, it went over $900 million is amazing. And also, if you add in the UK and other country sales, this thing could have propped, I'm going to guess, went over a billion dollars at this point through, you know, DVD sales and all that. That's just speculation, but I feel like there's enough information here to show us that it did that well. And when you come down here, it shows kind of some of the money it made if you break it down week by week for, again, up till the end or the beginning of uh, February, so February 3rd. So that's when it stopped calculating the money uh, that it's, set, you know, sold, uh, you know, on this website anyway. So it still made more money on top of this, but another 48 million on top of the 853 brings it to over 900 million, uh, you know, for at least that. And I'm sure, like I said, you keep going further and uh, it'll pr probably cross a billion, I'm going to guess. So yeah, this is really neat. There's just like, this website's really cool. It, it breaks down everything, all-time box office rank. It has all this information on there. So I'm going to put a link to this website down below as well. Uh, I found this one to be very, very helpful in getting information for this Venom movie. And then the last thing is uh, the UK sales. This is for the 3rd of March up until the 9th of March, and this is the top 40 biggest Blu-rays of the week. Um, so Venom came out, I think, in January or maybe late January in the UK on Blu-ray and DVD. So uh, so it's still kind of new over there. So it's, it's nearing its like fourth or fifth week in DVD and Blu-ray sales, and it is number four. Um, as of its like fourth or fifth week out there. So that's pretty cool. So again, Stars Born Above It, Hunter Killer Above That, Halloween. And those are brand new. Those came out, I think, this past week um, or the week before over in the UK on Blu-ray and DVD, at least according to this information in this site. So that's amazing. Um, so Venom, number four, uh, you know, currently. But it was number one, I believe, on Blu-ray and DVD for the first two weeks in the UK as well. So it was, it's was it been crushing it, and I, I am so happy to see this. I'm so happy to share this information for you and bring back the Venom Vlog Show. Appreciate you guys waiting so long for me to, to get everything back. Um, but uh, seeing all this information is awesome, and I'm liking this app. I'm lo loving what it allows me to do because I can talk to you guys while I'm in real time looking up movie information. So from time to time, you might not see my face. You might just see information like this, but hopefully you still enjoy it. And, uh, and if so, let me know down below in the comments. Like, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, we have a lot more Venom news coming up. We're going to dive back into the comic books. Uh, we have more movie information coming out, uh, you know, about Ruben Fleischer. We already did talk about him, uh, that he might not return. And now that it's seen, seeming to be more clear that he's not going to return, we might make an update video on it. But I want to wait and see until Sony officially announces a new director first before I make a video on that. So you'll have to wait on that topic at least because I don't want to talk too much about rumors and other things. We, you know how we do it on this channel. We try to get as clear information as we can. And if I'm ever wrong, you know me, I'll put my foot in my mouth and say I got the wrong information or I'll, I'll take down a video and upload a new one apologizing for it. So, you know, we'll we'll make it through this. You know, it, I gotta, I'm got i a little rusty because I haven't been feeling well, but we're back in the groove now. And hopefully you guys dig this information and dig knowing that Venom most likely has reached over, um, you know, definitely over $900 million, but, you know, with home video and stuff. But man, that'd be great if it was over a billion. But either way, this movie was a juggernaut. It, you know, powered through all those negative reviews from critics and it found its audience and a lot of people, whether they loved it overly or, or not, um, people did at least enjoy themselves at the theater and enjoyed their time. And of course, a lot of people had criticisms. I myself did too. I hope they fix some of these things I had that I, I criticized about the first movie. Hope they fix those in the second one. 
and maybe a new director, I love Ruben Fleischer, but maybe a new director will approach it from a new angle, and maybe that's something that could keep this franchise alive and keep it around. Uh, I don't know yet, we'll see. But either way, I want to hear your thoughts on all this information about the DVD and Blu-ray sales in the UK, in the US, and worldwide. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.